We usually don't give these uh, Jam Castle uh, uh, pieces of a name or anything. But we're going to give this this little piece today a name. And this is just some something that happened. And we're going to call this piece Weed at the Jam Castle. Uh, when I was in high school, I went to school with a guy by the name of Dan. Yes, is all I'm going to say. Pretty sure he's not with us anymore. I'm pretty sure Dan's gone, man. But uh, Dan was kind of a wild man. And he could actually, he was a pretty good guitar player. Uh, better than most. Or not maybe not better than most, but better than a lot of people that thought they were good. But Dan was wild and crazy, and he liked his dope. So anyway, as I had said before in one of the sections, you know, that... Uh, through the week, nobody was welcome at the Jam Castle. We practiced and then went to bed and got up and went to work. And uh, anyway, we were uh, done practicing. It's a week night and there's nobody around. And and we're done and we're sitting around having a couple of beers and stuff. And, uh, and there's a knock on the door, which is really odd because everybody knew Monday through Thursday, you can't go to the Jam Castle. Friday and Saturday, open house, you know. But anyway, and it's Dan S. And he says, wow, I've got to talk to you guys. Come here, man, I, I, I need one of your rooms. And I said, well, Dan, what's, what, what's up? He says, well, come, come on, man. Dan was kind of wild and high-strung, to say the least. So we go out to his car, and I'm thinking, man, what do you got, somebody dead in your trunk or what, man? And uh, he opens up his trunk, and lo and behold, man, there it was, like a bale of hay, weed, big, bale of weed man he says I need one of your rooms upstairs to cut this up so we're all like our eyes all got about this big right and we're thinking cool you know and uh, so anyway we get it upstairs and he he gets it all cut up and stuff you know and he gives us all a big major bag you know and this is the 70s by the way so you know a long time ago and uh, and off he goes and then you know and things go on and Pretty soon we uh, we all run out of weed, you know. So we're up there with a vacuum cleaner with a sock shoved up in there and all the wooden cracks in the floor, man, trying to suck out weed and stuff. And we got another bag, actually. There was a lot left over, a bale of hay, can you imagine? Anyway, a little bit down the road, man, there was a, a, our toilet, man. We had one John in that place. And it kind of leaked around it, you know. And one day, man, I'm looking, and there's a weed, there's a pot plant growing right in the carpet, right by the toilet, man. And we we tried to nurture it and, and, and bring it along, but but it died. I guess somebody probably peed on it. I don't know, man. But anyway, weed at the Jam Castle. <laughs>